my love language Is your time and attention Won't you give some of it to me I've been lonely Hey guys, it's me Mara. So for today's video, we're going to do another Jilly Cool Ray Sport video and this is our quick 1R car cleanup. And I just want to share this with you guys because as a new Jilly Cool Ray Sport owner, minsan ayaw mo pang pahawak yung baby mo sa iba and ipakarwash sa labas kasi baka magasgasan. Kasi kaya naman namin siyang ikarwash at home. Specifically yung dad ko dahil hindi naman ako talaga nagkakarwash guys. So kung nakikita niyo akong nagkakarwash sa video na to, Siyempre, para lang mapakita ko sa inyo naman kasi video ko. Hindi naman video to ng dad ko pero syempre, um, baka may mga mag-comment, hindi naman ikaw yung nag-car wash. Yes po, yung dad ko and yung kuya ko yung nagka-car wash ng car na to. Um, disclaimer lang, this is how we personally clean up our car. Kung meron kami mga ginagawa dito na hindi naka-align sa mga gusto nyo, Okay lang naman, syempre hindi nyo gawin. Pero kami, personally, yun yung mga ginagawa namin. Works for every other car. So, we're not saying na you should do this. But, this is just a suggestion if you want. And this quick one or cleanup can only be done if your car is waxed. Pero pag hindi naka-wax, syempre kailangan mo talagang i-car wash now and then. Anyways, before we get started guys, make sure you are subscribed to me and click that bell button beside it to be notified whenever I post a new video. Let's get started. So first, I'm going to mention the materials that we use for this quick one hour car cleanup. First, you need two buckets and two buckets kasi yung ginagamit namin, dalawang with normal water. And yung other bucket naman is may strainer sa baba and i-explain ko mamaya kung bakit. And then we have numerous microfiber cloth. Meron kaming lima ata. Mahalaga ang microfiber cloth kasi mas madaling makuha yung mga dust dito. And of course, microfiber siya. Mas gentle siya sa iyong car paint. So we truly advise na gumamit kayo ng microfiber cloth. Next is of course, vacuum and a brush. And then a power sprayer. Pag naka-power spray kasi yung power ng spray, power sprayer nga, is nakakatanggal na ng mga dust and dirt and hindi mo na kailangan pusutin ng ganyan-ganyan. Next is in line with the micro fiber towel or cloth we use also a microfiber duster and then next we use a lint remover for our matting and then a sponge for the tire block later. Ililink ko din down below kung gusto nyo ng Shopee or Lazada link. Make sure to check out the description box para makita nyo yung mga ginagamit namin for our cleanup. Ito yung pinakagamit na gamit sa aming car cleanup. We have the Armor All Protectant. That's an all-around cleaning product that we use. And then for our wax naman, we use the Carnuba Spray Cleaning Wax. And then another material is a normal cloth, hindi microfiber guys. We use this for the matte later on. So another thing for our material is a distilled water. And lastly for the tire black cream we have the brand High Gear and that's all the materials that we use. And now let's go to the actual quick 1R cleaning itself. So the first step for our quick car cleanup is removing the matting and vacuuming. And syempre, inuuna muna natin ang interior and iset aside muna natin ang mga matting to clean later. And then after we remove the matting, we vacuum the interior. And kailangan careful tayo with the vacuum kasi makakagawa din yun ng minor gas-gas in our interior. So dapat hindi kayo too hard with vacuuming. Kung baga, hindi siya nagigit na ganyan-ganyan or something or hindi siya gumaganyan-ganyan sa gilid-gilid nyo, kailangan mong i-vacuum all the parts of your car. And syempre, tingnan mo rin, dito binavacuum namin yung gilid dito, um, dito sa mismong dashboard, dito sa taas, nagsisettle yung mga dirt, dito sa gitna, carefully, sa mga lalagyan ng bottles, and of course, yung mismong sa baba, kung saan naka-place yung matting. Kailangan mong in one direction ka lang nagbabacuum kasi magiging buhaghag yung mismong um, place ng matting natin kung hindi one direction yung pagbabacuum mo. And then for mga parang ayaw matanggal or ayaw masipsip na mga dirt, that's the use of our brush. 
and iba brush brush mo lang siya and then i vacuum mo para matanggal na siya kung saan siya ayaw matanggal ganun for the sides here sa sides ng car seats natin for the driver side hindi mo kasi masusuot yung mismong vacuum tube sa gilid dito so what you're gonna do is you're going to go at the back and sa ilalim mo siya, iba vacuum. And dito lang yon applicable sa driver seat. However, iba naman yung way ng pag-vacuum sa gilid ng ating passenger seat. So for the passenger seat, since sa ilalim ng ating passenger seat, meron tayong DVR. So ang kailangan natin gawin para ma-vacuum natin yung gilid niya is you push the passenger seat sa harap para sa likod ulit dadaan yung ating vacuum and then mabavacuum mo na siya. But, meron pa rin place na hindi ma-vacuum from the likod. So, what you have to do naman is you pull the chair and then mabavacuum mo na siya from the front. And then, just vacuum the likod. Wala namang masyadong problem sa likod. Vacuum yung all around, pati yung mga seats natin. Anything that you see that has dirt, i-vacuum mo. So, for our second step, this is now where we will clean the matting. Okay, sa so pagkiklean naman ng mat, of course, sinet aside natin siya. And the best way is, of course, ipagpag mo muna, i-brush natin muna siya. And then, after that, you vacuum it. As always, i-vacuum natin siya in one direction lang. So, next, after vacuuming ng mabuti, we use a lint remover. Kasi merong parang dirt sa ating mga mating na parang hair-like. Hindi na kukuha ng vacuum yung mga dirt na After we do the lint remover, this is the first use ng ating armor oil protectant. So, yun ang gamit namin siya sa mating namin and we just spray a tiny bit, ang konti-konti lang because if you use too much of the armor oil protectant, magiging madulas siya. And then after, we use the normal cloth, hindi yung microfiber cloth guys, ha? yung normal cloth and then we wipe it with it. And the use of that armor oil protectant is Kung makikita nyo, yung mga mating natin may parang white stains na siya, nagmumukhang parang luma, ganun. Hindi na siya parang pure black. The use of that armor all protectant is natatanggal nyo yung mga white stains na ito. And your mat will look brand new after mong malagyan ng armor all protectant. So now, tapos na yung pag-clean natin and we need to snap it back on sa ating interior. So what I do is... Magsimula tayo sa end ng matting and as you guys can see, meron siyang parang mga holes. So, dun ka magsisimula and work your way up sa paglalagay ng matting sa baba. And then also, sa dito sa passenger, sa likod walang hole. You're gonna work your way up to the middle. So, start ka sa gilid, ipantay mo sa gilid, work your way up to the middle. So, third step naman natin ay sa dusting ng ating exterior. And ito na, simula na tayo sa laba. And ang gamit namin is yung microfiber duster na Namin. Pag nagda-dust ka, syempre sisimulan mo muna sa taas kasi dito madaming dust sa likod and then work your way to the sides and the front. The reason why we use a microfiber duster is mas better siya than the normal duster because it's soft, it's less likely to mark off the spots ng exterior mo, it's less likely to scratch it and then it traps more dust. Also, it is easier to get into the corners. So for our fourth step, we have power spraying the lower half of our car. And as I said earlier, this is not a car wash, but rather this is just a quick car cleanup. What we do is just the lower half. If basahin mo yung cool car, you have to wait to dry it off kasi nagsisip in yung mga water sa mga corners niya, sa mga gilid. Dagdag trabaho pa siya kumbaga. And this is just a quick car cleanup. And then also, the power sprayer should be pointed downward. And the reason why power sprayer nga ulit is mas nakukuha niya yung dirt kung may makikita man kami na kailangan uh, manually mong tanggalin of course you use your hands fifth step is wiping our Geely Cool Race Sport or wiping it dry and this is the longest part ito yung pinaka parang time consuming part of our quick car cleanup so what we use here is a microfiber towel or cloth and yun yung ipapang wipe natin sa exterior ng car natin we use a distilled water and put it in a sprayer and ito yung gagamitin natin as lubricant along the or outside for the microfiber cloth dito na natin gagamitin yung two buckets and the one bucket with strainer so the reason why there is a strainer dun sa isang bucket is that 
kapag wash mo yung cloth mo dun sa bucket na yun, of course, the dirt na mapipick up nung microfiber towel natin magsesettle sa water or mag mapupunta sa water. For us to not get those dirt again on our towel, we use the strainer as a division sa ating bucket para hindi mo na makuha yung mga nagsettle na dirt sa baba. Yung water na nasa two buckets natin is just normal tap water. For the first bucket na walang strainer, we use it to really um, clean the microfiber towel. Gusto tinyo mabuti and then take out the excess water. After that, we use naman yung bucket na with strainer naman. Dito sa part na to, konting dip lang, konting kusot lang. Hindi naman masyado. As kumbaga, double cleaning lang siya. Take out the excess water. Wag sobrang basa, pero wag naman sobrang damp. So, kailangan tamang-tamang basa lang yung microfiber towel natin. And this is now where we use it. So, syempre, tiklopin mo ng maayos yung microfiber towel mo. And then, we first do the pinakataas. We spray it with distilled water. And ang aming ginagawa per panel is dinedivide namin siya sa two. So, et, eto yung first panel, second panel, third panel, fourth panel, fifth panel. Dedivide mo siya sa dalawa para ma-divide natin yung towel natin. Siyempre, may front and back ang towel natin, ba? So, sa first part na to, yung front ng towel and then sa second part, yung likod ng towel. So, we do that kasi para naman yung dirt na nakuha dito sa front part, hindi mo na malilipat dun sa second part. Kung kaya nyo naman, one direction lang talaga. Para naman hindi masyadong diba, gulo-gulo. And, and then after one panel, you go to the two box again and do the same thing all over again. So, rinse mo with the first bucket, then take out the excess water, put it on the second bucket again, and then konting kusot lang dito, and then take out the excess water again. And then we go to this panel naman, which is the left side, divide mo sa dalawa, spray mo ulit ng distilled, you wipe mo with the first part of the towel, balik ta rin yung towel, go to the next side naman. And then you do it with all sides of our panel. We have this right side na panel, we have the front side panel, we have the likod na panel. And for the likod na panel, yung Geely na word and also yung Cool Ray na word sa likod is pag hindi ka careful, sumasabit yung microfiber or anything na towel. What we do is that careful lang sa pag wipe. Baka mamaya matanggal mo naman yung isang letter, maging cool run na lang. So sa likod rin pala is nasisip in yung mga water sa mismong trunk natin. So saan natin yung trunk guys and punasan lang natin yung, yung sides, kumbaga yung corners ng ating trunk. Yun, nababasa yun kahit hindi naman natin binasa yung taas na part ng ating cool race. And then also, every now and then dapat pinapagpagmurin yung microfiber cloth mo and then also medyo ipiga mo rin siya piga piga so also for the rims of our tires we also spray distilled water and then just wipe it like normal okay ang bilis bilis nasa 6 part na agad tayo which is wiping the black part of our car and also the tires and ito this is our secret solution wow pa ganon so what we use is we put it in a sprayer again and then we combine the armor all protectant and also the high gear tire black cream. One part each lang. And use this sponge in this part. Ispa-spray mo sa sponge yung mismong combination. And this is what we use to make the black parts ng labas ng cooler or yung exterior ng cooler look brand new. I avoid natin yung paint. Kailangan dun ka lang sa black um, magwa-wipe. And you can also use this on the tires kasi pang tires naman talaga siya. And also yung inside ng tires. Pero realistically kasi, madudumihan din naman yung inside. So yung bungad lang yung nilalagyan namin. So sa second to the last step natin, we have the wax and polish. Ang gamit namin for waxing again is the Carnuba um, spray cleaning wax. We use again a microfiber towel to spread the wax. And this is a different microfiber towel than the ones we use for wiping our car dry. First panel, we have the front. And yun yung inuna na yun. Kahit anong panel naman na unahin nyo. I-divide mo ulit siya sa dalawa ha. Laging ganun ang ating way of ano. Para madali. And then, isa-spray natin yung Carnuba dun sa mismong microfiber towel just to lubricate it. And then, we do the half of the front. We spray about two sprays and a half. We spread it with the microfiber towel and just spread it like normal in one direction. And then do the other side of the panel, two and a half spray again. And then once you're done in the front, do the sides. 
two and a half sprays as well as the likod and again remember to always be careful with the Geely and Cool Ray letters after that we need to polish ang sabi ko nga rin pala kanina every half of a panel if you flip mo yung towel mo you polish the first one that you wax Siyempre, yun yung pinakatuyo na na na-wax natin. So, ang una namin winax is yung front part. So, yun yung una mong ipapalis. Last mo na yung back kasi kung back yung last mo na wax like ours. Nga pala, yung Carnuba wax is you can use it um everywhere actually. Hindi lang sa mismong paint, you can use it on the glass. So, what we do sa back kasi, mostly nagsisettle dyan yung dirt. So, nilalagyan din namin yan ng wax. Itong glass lang naman. Hindi naman lahat ng glass dito. Yung back lang na glass. Nilalagyan namin ng wax as well as the lights, yung front lights, yung back lights natin. Lastly, so tapos na tayo sa exterior, malinis na malinis na yan. Now we move to the interior again and this is the last step. So another secret solution of ours, so yung bucket of water natin. You just add a tablespoon of the Armor Oil Protectant. You can use the microfiber towel na wet kanina na ginamit natin for wiping our car. And then oxidip mo lang yung microfiber towel mo doon and tanggalin mo lang yung excess water. Yun yung gagamitin natin for cleaning our, our interior. You can wipe it all over here. Dito, wipe namin to. And, and kailangan nagsisimula ka sa cleanest part ng iyong interior. So, ang cleanest part siguro dito is here, here, daan sa taas, dito sa mga seats. And ang pinaka-dirtiest part ng ating car, yun ang ihuhuli natin. So, ang pinaka-dirtiest dito is yung dito sa sides ng pinto. Yun yung pinaka-madumi sa interior natin. So, you do that last. And pwede mo siyang i-wipe dito, dito, everywhere talaga para it will look brand new and very clean. And yun yung secret solution namin for making our interior really clean. My love language is your time and attention. Won't you give some of it to me? I've been known. Guys, that concludes our quick one hour car cleanup. Sakto na sakto for 60 minutes. Kung tinatamad ka mag car wash, kung nakawax naman yung car mo. And again, kung may gusto kayo sa mga minention kung mga ginagamit namin na material for this cleanup, I will link it down below. Shopee, Lazada. That is it for this week's video. Again, comment down below, guys, kung anong next gusto nyong video ko for this Geely Cool Race. If umabot kayo sa part na to ng video natin, comment down below Geely Pogi. Again, thank you for watching this video. I hope you found it informative. And kung gusto nyo pa ng Geely videos, comment lang kayo down below and like this video. And yeah guys, see you next video. Bye! -bye.